合适。Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to your channel. In today's video, I have another GTA 5 online tutorial. So, in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool zebra outfit. Now, guys, so the first thing that we want to do is make our way into any clothing stores in GTA 5 online, and we're going to make our way over to the jeans section. Um, as you can probably guess by the title of this video and what I just called the outfit is zebra, what we're going to do is go ahead and buy or look for the jeans that are called the zebra jeans. Of course, once you eventually do find them and you know what they look like, the black and white jeans that look like a zebra as you can see i scroll past them the zebra fitted that's what they're called so once we eventually do find them what we're going to do is go ahead and purchase them guys now once we eventually purchase them we're going to make our way over to the top section guys now when, before you make this outfit as you can see in the gameplay i already had my helmet on and a mask on for my previous outfit i'd recommend taking them off once you eventually do take off your mask and stuff as you can see later on in the video i do do that what we want to do is, as I said, go to top section, go to t-shirts, and we want to purchase the plain black t-shirt or the plain charcoal one. I recommend the black one as it does go with the outfit a little bit better. Anyway, once we eventually have equipped the black t-shirt on and you do have the zebra jeans on, what we want to do is go ahead and take off the mask. Now, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, guys, some guy in the hydro was outside the clothing shop just shooting at me. But once you eventually sort out and um, equip the black t-shirt, you took off your mask, what you want to do is go to the sports jackets. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit laggy as I'm scrolling through them. But what we want to do is go ahead and, as you can probably guess, purchase the zebra puffer jacket. Now, the, as you can see, it's there, the Z this, uh, zebra puffer jacket. And we want to go ahead and equip that. Now, guys, I thought I'd leave this bit in the video. But as I said, there's a guy in a hydra outside the clothing store. And eventually, after we equipped our boots, he just starts spraying into the shop with the hydra so i thought that was pretty funny so i'm going to leave that in the video but once we eventually have equipped the jacket guys what we're going to do is go over to boots and we'll go purchase the black tech boots now it's really up to you guys what boots you want to put on any black boots do look good now as you can see in the gameplay guys i thought this was hilarious the guy was literally outside in the hydra spraying in the door trying to kill me he had already blown up my um, car as you can probably see in the top right of the screen earlier on in the video it said my car has been destroyed but this guy literally camped outside the store for like, I would say at least two minutes. Literally spraying with the Hydra. Eventually I did get killed as I was trying to get a better look and trying to RPG him. But I thought this was so funny because this guy would not stop killing, like not stop shooting me. He was just too funny. I could have went in faster more, but I thought I would just like try and kill him. So as you can see, I'm giving the thumbs up in the video. And at this point I was literally dying with laughter. I don't even know why I found this funny, he's just, he was trying so hard to kill me, I didn't even do anything to him. So later on in the video, as you can see, he eventually did kill me, and when I respawned, I thought I'd get my revenge. Um, as you can see right now, once I eventually do spawn in the game, playing in the background, you see him crash the Hydra, which I thought was also so funny. As you can see, he's coming in trying to kill me again, and he just crashes his Hydra. And then eventually what I do is when he spawns again, um, I bring out... But what I was going to do here is I was going to message him, but I accidentally was going to, I clicked send friend request. I was going to message him saying like you're a try hard or some shit like that. But what I decided to do is pull out my RPG when he was shooting at me. Now as you can see in the gameplay, he's still shooting at me like when he respawned. So I just pulled out my grenade launcher and like lobbed a few of them over across the street and I eventually did kill him. Now guys, I know this is like sidetracking this part of the clothing outfit but i thought i'd add it in because it literally was just so funny so as you can see i eventually did kill him then um he got killed by the police and i thought like screw it he's gonna be keep on coming after me so i just left the session and once i eventually did leave the session we can start the outfit again so i'm just gonna let the gameplay roll for this bit when he eventually does get killed by the cops and i'll meet you back in the clothing store guys <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're in a new session now. I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy that last part of the video, but I really did think it was quite funny. So once we eventually do get back into the clothing store, 
guys what we want to do is make our way off to accessories and go down to gloves now there's two options what you can do you can put on the black woolen gloves or you can put on the black leather gloves you cannot put on the black tactical gloves as it doesn't like go with the puffer jacket so I recommend going with the black woolen gloves as it like ties the outfit and look makes the outfit look a lot better now guys once we eventually do have the gloves on what we want to do is go ahead and the outfit should look stunned for something like this now two things we want to do now guys is we want to put on the black parachute once we put on the black parachute what we want to do is also put on the black um, body armor so as you can see in the gameplay just go ahead and go off the parachutes put a pa show parachute on and you just want to put on the black combat parachute as i've already said then go back onto your um, inventory and then go over to body armor as i said body show body armor on and then go to um, show armor is the standard armor now once we have equipped them two things guys what we're also going to need is we're going to purchase a helmet which is one of the flight suit helmets that came in the smuggler dlc now as you can see um i still clicked on the wrong one it's called a combat helmet and it's the first option it's the zebra quad lens helmet guys now once we eventually do purchase that what we can do is go ahead and save the outfit now as you can see the outfit does look pretty sick so far and what we're going to do now guys is we're going to need to make our way down to the mask shop now as you can see in the gameplay i'm just making sure i'm saving the outfit if you want i do recommend saving the outfit twice just so it sticks and saves but once you eventually do save the outfit what you want to do is make your way down to the mask shop all right guys so as you can see we have arrived at the mask shop right now what we want to do is go ahead and press right on the d-pad on on ps4 and bring up the mask options that we can purchase now as you can see i was scrolling through them trying to find the exact mask and i didn't know what category it was in but eventually i did find it so as in the gameplay rolls right now what we're going to do is go ahead and i believe it was in a ta not tactical intimidation well, well once i eventually do find the mask i'll show you what it's called so anyway guys once we eventually do go to intimidation as you can see the zebra mask right here we want to go ahead and purchase this one guys now once we've purchased it what we can do guys if you want is go ahead and save the outfit again now i do recommend saving it now when it has just the mask on for the next part of the video we are going to need just the mask on now what we're also going to need is a car so what we're going to do guys is once we're in the car or sorry before we get into the car bring up your interactive menu go to accessories go to style or sorry once we go to yeah so what we want to do is go to style and we want to go ahead and put on the zebra quad lens helmet now once we do that what we want to do is go back onto our inventory hover over the outfit that we just made go up to parachute press triangle to get into the car and as soon as your character sits down in the car seat what you want to do is go ahead and click the outfit that we are creating now if you've done it correct and you've got the timing right as you can see the helmet and the mask will glitch on together now it does look pretty sick guys and what we want to do of course is once we've done this glitch go ahead and save it now guys you can just end the video right here if you're happy with this outfit but what we're going to do for next up if you're still interested in making a full outfit is what we're going to do is add goggles now before we do add goggles and if you just want to stop at this point right here what we're going to do is go on to inventory go to style and accessories and as you can see what we want to do is go to visor and we can actually put the goggles down and this does make the outfit look pretty sick now once we've done this guys as i said you can just end the video right here if you enjoy this part of the outfit but to complete the outfit what we're going to do is make our way down to our apartment now as you can see i've skipped over to my apartment so if you are interested in this next part of the video what we're going to do is make our way to any apartment that has a telescope and we want to flick our visors up as you can see in the gameplay and we're going to do telescope glitch now if you don't know what telescope glitch is basically make sure your apartment has a telescope put any hat or mask on that you want and we'll go blend them all together all together sorry so right now what i'm going to do is once you press press right on d-pad and run past it should glitch off your mask and helmet as you can see now what we're going to do is go over to glasses and put on the monochrome outlaw goggles now once we have equipped them guys the mask and the helmet should glitch back on now as you can see guys this is the full complete outfit we're not going to put the goggles down as you won't be able to see the chrome in the goggles but as you can see it does look pretty sick guys now what we're going to do of course is go ahead and save the outfit now if you're still interested in the video and you're still watching to make this outfit even more better or even more um suited together what we're going to do is go ahead and make our way down to our moc guys 
Now, of course, you're going to have to MO have an MOC to do this, but what we're going to do is make sure our MOC has the gunsmith section, as you can see in the gameplay. Now, once that eventually does have the gunsmith, what we're going to do, as you can probably see on the combat rifle, that we're going to put the zebra camo onto the gun. Now, as you can see, for some reason, I don't know. I didn't know what was really happening when I was trying to do this, but it was a bit buggy. But as you can see, I put on the zebra camo, and it was kind of like glitched out, like not glitched out, but like it wasn't looking as good as I wanted to. I wanted it to be like the pop, the colors to like pop out and make it look really like white, as you can see in my other one, which the base color was white and the black stripes. But I just couldn't get it to work, guys. So I just settled for the normal one. But once you eventually do purchase this, guys, if you want to go the extra way and make this outfit look a lot better, I would recommend doing it. So once I eventually do put the zebra camo on, on my rifle and my combat MG, the outfit does look really sick, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, guys, make sure you do drop a like and subscribe, guys. Recently, we got so much support on the channel, guys. We've hit like 440 subs, which is, really means a lot to me. So if you, as I said, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you do drop a like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.